And as our coach continues, back to school and back to routine. So certainly this is a topic we've been covering for months, school staffing shortages. But an exclusive 12 News survey of Rhode Island superintendents has shown nearly 80% of public school districts are experiencing some level of a shortage. Target 12 investigator Tolly Taylor joins us now with these exclusive findings. Speech pathologists, social workers, substitutes, paraprofessionals. Each district shortage is different, but the central theme is clear. Most districts can't find all the staff they need. Warwick School Superintendent Lynn Danbrook says district leaders feel a sense of urgency to help students who have fallen behind during the pandemic. But despite a boost in federal funding from the American Rescue Plan Act, not every vacancy is filled. Social workers and school psychologists have been the toughest positions. Also nurses, school nurse teachers have been tough as well. We're competing with other districts. Um, I believe there's a shortage out there and we will post jobs and we might have one or two applicants. And Warwick is not alone. All 36 traditional public school district superintendents in Rhode Island. When asked if they had a staffing shortage, 26 districts said yes or somewhat, while only seven said they don't. That's nearly 80% with a shortage. Three districts, Bristol Warren, Foster Gloucester, and South Kingstown, did not respond despite multiple requests. We have a couple of special ed positions that we're interviewing for now, but that's another area that's hard to staff. There's a huge need for special education teachers. Danbrook says to stay competitive with other districts, Warwick schools raised pay for substitute teachers, but adds federal COVID relief dollars have been crucial to staying competitive. Without the ESSA funds, we would not have been able to do that. As Target 12 previously reported, Providence schools continue to struggle hiring teachers. The school year there started with 162 teachers vacancies. Coming up tonight at 5, why Danbrook says staffing issues could become an even bigger problem in the years ahead. With the Target 12 investigators, I'm Tolly Taylor, 12 News.